الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى says in the Quran يا أيها الناس يا أيها الناس اعبدوا ربكم الذي خلقكم والذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتكون Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says O you mankind worship your Lord who created you and created those who came before you in order that you have taqwa worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is how we attain taqwa increasing our iman and when we look around and see the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's vast creation these are the ayat koniya these are, these are the signs in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation that he exists that he's the creator of the heavens and earth and as Ibn Kathir said, Al Khalik li Hadihil Ashahua Mustahik lil Ibada. He said, The creator of the, all those things, he is truly worthy of worship. And a faida or benefit of that worship is that you attain taqwallah Azza wa Jal. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us with taqwa Allah azza wa jal. Because that's a fearful, that's something to be fearful of if you find yourself committing the same sins and more sins, increasing in sins, while praying five times a day and fasting. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayu al-ladheena amanu, kutub alaykum siyam kama kutub al-ladheena min qablakum la'alukum tatakun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh, you who believe kutub alaykum siyam fasting is prescribed for you similar to the way it was prescribed for those who came before you in order that you would gain taqwa so if you find yourself in the same status after the holy month of ramadan wa iyad billah min dalik and may Allah forgive us for many sins and our shortcomings but if you find that you didn't gain any taqwa your iman didn't increase. You raced back to the same sins. Then that would be a sign that your fasting may not have been accepted and that your ibadah perhaps might not be accepted by your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala because you're worshipping Allah. You spend your time worshipping Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. But at the same time, you're not gaining taqwa. You're not gaining the thamarat. The thamarat al-ilm. The thamarat al-ibadah. The benefits or the fruits of your worship. And the fruits of attaining knowledge is that you should act upon it. And that action should increase your taqwa. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in Iman, Islam, wa Ihsan, and all those things which He subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.